What up guys, Spyro here! Before we start the video, I just want to let you know how you can help JT Anime's channel grow by going to check out their merch store on Etsy. You can help support the channel by purchasing merchandise like this bringing you all that nerdy goodness t-shirt, multiple variants coming soon. And just to remind you, new merchandise will be added regularly and all confirmed purchases get a special shout out in future videos. You can also support them at their Buy Me A Coffee page where you'll, they'll soon be offering membership exclusive content such as new videos and more of their original and upcoming content like JT Anime and Nerd's new Pendragon Knights of the Round, one of many stories in JT Anime's new superhero universe. Finally, be sure to check out their Amazon affiliate links in the description and pinned comment below. You can not only find incredible products, but also help them toward our goal of turning this YouTube channel into a full-time gig, so they can provide you with higher quality content. So be sure to Hulk smash that subscribe button for more content. JT Anime and Nerd, bring you all that nerdy goodness. Enjoy the video. The story begins at the Bandicoot house, with Coco with her online esports team playing Jet League, while Tana is washing some new dishes for her tiki bar in the kitchen. Aim for the goal! Who's hogging the ball? Seriously, no one can get the power up? What? No, I am not a rage quitter! Just then, Aku Aku teleports in. Oh, hey Coco. Can't talk now, playing. Oh, well, I just thought you'd want to go collect some seashells and talk about their composition while Crash finishes his... <sighs> training. Aku sees Crash through the window, about to karate chop a tree. <laughs> he hits the tree with his head. Crash then knocks himself out, followed by coconuts falling all over him. Ugh. <sighs> so what do you say? No, I... What? Ugh! They kicked me out! I'm sorry, what were you saying? Oh, well, I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got experiments to do. Later, Aku. But I... Pff, ugh. You know, Coco doesn't like you, right? What? Why? I've been a good father to you three. I don't know, but I've seen how she treats you. Remember volleyball day? Serve! Coco jumps up to hit the ball. Get wrecked! <laughs> okay, I admit that hurt. But, and then there was the termite incident. <laughs> the pain means it's working! You said it was a trial test! A test for super termites! Well, I mean, then there was the wood chip laser. <laughs> the, the laser hits Aku Aku and turns him into sawdust. Sorry. I would. She does hate me. I said doesn't like, but if you want to get personal about it... Of course it's personal. I see you all as my children. Gotta think of something to get on Coco's good side. Maybe go take her to that Boydiful 12 concert? That troublemaking boy band whose fans wrecked their last concert? Not a chance. Coco's a child. She's too young for that stuff. First it's a boy band, then a tattoo. Next thing you know, she'll get a boyfriend and run off to Mexico with his brother. Tana looks at Aku Aku awkwardly. You really need to cut down on the teen dramas. You know what I mean. No concert. Okay, but you better come up with something soon. Otherwise, your rep as perfect daddy goes out the window. <gasps> I cannot let that happen. Today, Aku Aku becomes... Aku... Dad? I'll workshop it. Crash! Outside, Crash gets out of the coconuts and salutes. Ah! Aku Aku then teleports in front of Crash. You're going to help me put together the perfect father-daughter day for me and Coco. Or your name's not... A moment later, Coco is working on her de-evolution ray that she used on Papu Papu in the first episode. It's hooked up to some wires. Coco then pulls out a remote control and pushes the button, trying to fuel the ray. The experiment's a dud. Crud. Just then, Aku teleports in. Oh, Coco. What's up, Aku? I hope you're ready to get out of the lab today. Aku Aku then teleports Coco outside. Because today is family day, just you and me. Eh? And crash. Uh, Tana? 
Don't look at me. I got the bar to tend to. Uh, come on, it'll be fun. You need to get out into the sunlight every now and then. Uh, actually, I uh, great to the native village. Say what? Aku Aku then teleports Coco and Crash to the native village. Coco is then sitting in what appears to be a judge's table. What is this? This is the first ever Wampa Island talent show! A talent show? Yeah, talent shows are fun. If I was in middle school... Would you rather be? I... Okay, get on with it. We shall be the impartial judges of this event. I don't even... <sighs> Whatever. Just then, Papu Papu walks onto the stage to announce the first talent. Ijugari Tinga Ogara Crash Bandicoot. Papu rips up the paper with Crash's name in anger and walks off the stage. The curtains open for Crash to slide on stage. Ah! He holds up, up Wumpa Fruits and begins to juggle them. He doesn't know how to juggle. <laughs> Just then, a small little sticky grenade is thrown onto Papu's nose. Uh-oh. Coco looks at the stage, frustrated. Papu then re-enters the stage, charred. <laughs> Just then, one of the totem god's tikis enters the stage. We got rid of all of them. Yeah, but some stayed even before you came along. Tiny Tiki then pulls out two sticks, sets the ends on fire, and begins fire dancing. In the aftermath, the native village ends up on fire. Koko -ko and Akuaku -aku are singed, with Koko looking less than pleased. I'll take care of him. Aku then heads to the stage while Coco is still looking way more or less than pleased. Aku then gets back to the table. Can we go home now? Nope! Aku then teleports Coco and Crash. The trio then appear in the outback. How about a stroll through the outback? I'm sure it's been a while since you've been here. Yeah, not since a maniacal scientist attacked our village and kidnapped us. <laughs> Crash begins to zoom around the outback in excitement, happy to be in his old environment. Ooh, uh, look, I know this place might bring back a lot of bad memories, but I'm sure there's something here that can make this day fun. How about kangaroo ra racing? Uh, what? Crash passes by on his own kangaroo. <laughs> Just then, Aku Aku appears next to Coco. Well, what do you think? I think I'm gonna throw up! Get us out of here! Okay, maybe a slight change of venue. Aku then teleports Crash and Coco to what looks to be some kind of convention. This may be more to your liking. I mean, it's cool. Come on, Crash! Hey, wait for me! There's a demo for End Fantasy 20! The cast of Homeless Reincarnation! A great but really messed up anime. <gasps> and my gaming hero! The top champion of Jet League and real life racing legend! Coco then sees what appears to be a woman signing autographs out of sand. Megumi Bandicoot! Aku Aku then catches up. Whew. Well, if you like her so much, then I'll ask for her autograph. Wait, what? Just then, a crash is heard. Only for everyone to see Crash accidentally have crashed into a booth of action figures. <laughs> After this, the booth owner, named Rilla Roo, voiced by Seth Rogen, stomps toward Crash. <laughs> Do you realize that those vintage figures were priceless? 
With blinding speed, Crash spins and repairs the booth as best as he can. But then it collapses again. <laughs> Just then, Akwaku teleports in. I'm very sorry, sir. Aku then uses his mojo to completely repair the booth and the action figures. My son just got a little... excited. EXCITED?! Those figures were already out of the box! They're worthless now! Some dad you are! Hey, I'm doing my best here! Ha! Huh. Well clearly you suck! Why else would this little runt be such a loser? Hey! Mm. Out of anger. Akuaku Aku shoots a mojo blast at Rillaru, causing him to crash into a few booths, causing a bigger scene. No one insults my children. No way! Stop! Rillaru then gets back up and charges at Akuaku. Aku. However, before Rilla could get a punch in, Crash steps in, taking both the punch and using his spin attack to knock out Rillaru. Coco looks on, shocked. Crash! Coco runs up to Crash and holds him up. You okay? <laughs> Coco then looks around to see all the stares they're getting, even being noticed by Megumi, which isn't exactly a positive vibe. Coco? Coco just looks on and slightly in shock. Let's go. Coco. I said let's leave. Aku, a bit perturbed by the outburst, decides to teleport Crash and Coco away. The trio ends up in the insanity jungle. Why are we... Emotional distress can affect my teleportation. We'll have to walk it from here. Crash then gets up. <laughs> Crash then spins ahead. Coco then takes a step forward. Wait. Coco. I'm sorry. I just... I don't know why you don't like me so much. Sometimes I think maybe you hate me. Coco then shows a somewhat annoyed and frustrated expression after hearing this. I, I, I just wanted to spend more time with you because I feel like you just pushed me away. Why? Coco then turns to Aku Aku upset. You really want to know why I don't like you so much? You put Crash in danger. Every day. The training. The mojo madness you keep getting us mixed up with. And the fact that you're training him to take on anything that you know will hurt him. Because you know what's coming. You drag Crash into a fight that has nothing to do with us. That's the only reason you saved him. Coco then turns away with her arms crossed. Upset, but not walking away. <sighs> I remember when you, Tana, and Crash all washed up on Insanity Beach. How close Crash was to Death's door. How much has he remembered? Coco begins to shed a couple tears. Not enough. Aku Aku then floats down toward Coco. Coco, I didn't choose his path. He did. The Mojo did. It hurts me every day to see him struggle, because I know he's not doing it for himself. He does it for you and Tana. <sighs> Aku Aku then gently stretches his leaves and has Coco turn to face him. Coco, I've lived for many eons, protecting this island as best as I can. But despite my duty, I always felt something was missing. That I was destined to remain to a single purpose of finding a successor to the teaching of Mojo. And when I first met you all, I thought I had. But then I realized I was wrong. Coco looks surprised at Aku's words. While I must train a successor, yes. I didn't save Crash to save the world. I saved him to save myself. Because, for the first time in so long, I didn't feel alone anymore. When I saved Crash, I felt the best I had in years. And then when I took you all in, Coco then begins to cry a little bit. 
I realized I didn't need to pray for anything else. Because I found a family. I found you children. And that will always be the best day of my life. So no matter how much you may come to hate me, to me, you will always be my daughter. And I love you. Tana and Crash all the same. I'm not perfect, and I'll never be. I'm making it all up as I go along. But I will never stop trying. You are all my family. Coco begins to cry, followed by hugging Aku Aku. I'm sorry. Shh. It's alright. It's alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to check out our merch store, buy me a coffee page, and Amazon affiliate link linked in the description and pinned comment below. So you can help us expand the channel and give you guys higher quality content. Also, if you want to check out our original content, be sure to check out the playlists linked in the description below. With all that said and done, I'm JT Anime, and I'll check you guys later.